So yeah, I can't really sleep. I'm pregnant. Two bloody two babes. Probably because it's the cheapest. <laughs> Looks like a bionic hand. Rather odd shaped bump. Lightning crotch. Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's vlog. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments on last week's vlog. And also thank you everyone for sharing your pregnancy experiences regarding babies measuring big. It seems like that happens really often and then it's not an issue. Um, I've so enjoyed sharing my pregnancy content with you because I just feel like it's really reiterated why I started doing YouTube in the first place and why when social media is a nice place to be we enjoy it much more because it is just about building a community and relating to people and sharing my pregnancy journey has really galvanized that I feel like I've never been more engaged with you guys and more active within my own community so that's really enjoyable for social media especially given that it's been locked down and it's just been such a nice way to connect but anyway yes I'm not doing hair today but I do need to run some errands before I need to go to the post office I've got a midwife appointment at one o'clock and then my friend is coming over after that and we're gonna have like a late lunch okay before we pop out to the shops I am just going to show you uh, my outfit for the day I have my shirt from Uniqlo that I bought a couple of weeks ago fitting quite nicely around the bump my H&M rib trousers and my white Birkenstocks and then I have this new edition this is a watch from a brand called Nordgreen which I am going to talk in more depth about later um, but yes I'm going to pop to the shops and then and then go to the midwife and then we'll chat them oh I feel like today is just one of those days it's just completely run away with me um, popped to the shops did my errands the bank took ages and then it was just go go from there I got home I had to turn around and run to the midwife then meet my friend have lunch and now here we are but yes I said earlier when I was showing you my outfit that I would talk more about my watch which is from Nordgreen which is a Danish brand based in Copenhagen and they reached out to me and asked if I would like to collaborate um, on a portion of this video and I said absolutely so they let me pick out a watch which is this is the one that I picked out it's called philosophy I love a watch that looks like jewelry almost like a slightly oversized bracelet looking mannish type watch um, so I never have them too tight I like to have them kind of sliding up and down my arm and then I also have a 15% discount code for you guys as well they're just really classic and timeless designs which if you know this channel you know we love classic and timeless um, their design lead has designed for Bang and Olufsen and Hay so that's the kind of thing that you can expect super minimal Scandi inspired you know all those things that we love here and they pride themselves on their sustainability and how ethical they are so they have eco-friendly packaging they have like union certified factories that they work alongside so in terms of the bigger picture like their supply chain um, they are very conscious in that respect they also have um, their giving back program and there's a few different initiatives within that one is called water for good um, where they are able to supply two months of clean water to families in Central Africa another one is called cool earth and that is dedicated to preserving I think it's over 200 square foot of rainforest within South America. So in terms of them being conscious and giving back globally, they have got some really incredible initiatives for quite a small brand. So definitely worth checking out. So in terms of the products itself, they've got interchangeable straps. So you could change this strap if you wanted to. And then, I mean, you could get loads of straps if you wanted to. And then you've got quite a few different options with just one watch face. I'm generally very simple when it comes to all of my jewellery but especially watches. I don't know, I just, my taste doesn't really change when it comes to watches, I know what I like and I know that the styles I choose kind of go with everything and work for any occasion I suppose because this looks just as good with day wear as it would be if I was dressing up to go out in the evening and that is what I look for in a watch. So yes, I'm hugely grateful to Nordgreen for working with me on this portion of the video and again it's a massive thank you to you guys for enabling me to do things like this on my channel. Um, I think it goes out saying but I I don't really do that many ads um, and when I do I'm very specific about the brands that I do them with so I'm really excited to be able to offer you guys a discount on a brand like Nordgreen um, so yeah as I said it's 15% off with the code Mary I will leave everything in the description box down below 
and yeah let me know if you take advantage of it and happy shopping oh look at this lion's mane <laughs> good morning everyone yeah it's about 6 30 or uh, 6 40 i can't really sleep past this sort of time half six seven anymore people say it's your body preparing for no sleep um i'm just grateful that it's the summertime and i have lovely light mornings and i can come and sit out here and just have a little quiet moment before the day starts um i haven't done this for ages i used to do this quite a lot last summer when i was still working in an office before i went f like freelance with doing building my hair business i would come out here and like listen to podcasts and like manifest <laughs> building my own business um and now here we are which i was kind of reflecting on the last week or so i feel really like content and proud of where i've got to um and comfortable with where i've got to for now taking time off to have a baby but i might talk a bit more about that at some point um but yeah so that's that <laughs> so yeah i can't really sleep we we <laughs> we get up early and we start our day i mean it's something i should get used to i suppose so today i am i think i'm meeting a friend of my mum's who i know very well my mum is down in Somerset, but she used to live around here. Obviously, we grew up around here, and so she has lots of friends that are still around here. And obviously, with having a baby, they're friends of my mum's that I've kind of grown up with. So there's a couple in particular that I'm also close with. So they're kind of like um, my surrogate mum while she's not able to come up and be here that often at the moment because of everything that's happening. So meeting one of my mum's friends, for coffee well i won't have coffee but for coffee um and probably a pastry in the coffee shop downstairs below my building i think that's happening and then i'm also doing hair um after that and i'm doing hair for a friend of a friend well i guess she i would call her my friend but i know her through my other friend b whose hair i actually did last week and i did film the beginning like I, I filmed the before and then I didn't film the after but I did take pictures and I meant to put it on this on last week's vlog and I didn't but yeah I did Bee's hair last week and that was lovely to see her actually she came and oh I have to show you she bought me some lovely flowers um so that was really nice to see her but yeah anyway this girl used to live with me so I'm doing her hair today so that would be nice it's like having a little mate over and just having a chat that is about it for today here are the flowers here that B bought. You can see this one, um, just ignore him. Um, but yeah, it's just this lovely big bouquet that's got lilies and other things in it that I'm not sure about. Um, I love these here. But yeah, she said she made a point of saying that she didn't want any colour in the bouquet, but I don't mind colouring my flowers, but I do think there is something to be said about a nice crisp white and green arrangement they are slightly past their best because they've been here since last week but they still bring me joy every day i just love like foliage like this i've just received um a package uh from a courier has just been dropped off because i completely forgot that this afternoon no this evening i am taking part in a facial massage zoom call with urban vader and they've just dropped off the product for it and I'm such an idiot because I just remembered I'm pregnant um, and these are facial oils and I suddenly thought oh god I should have checked whether these are even pregnancy safe and I keep doing that with everything forgetting to check and to be honest my skincare routine at the moment is actually quite stripped back um, and I know the brands and products I'm using are pregnancy safe but I know that there's a thing about essential oils um, and I've had a look at the ingredients and I'm, I think a couple of them will be fine but I did just email um, Clouds who's the PR just to double check. Let me show you the oils because 
as soon as I smelt this, I opened this box and they just smell amazing. So we have a Radiance one, Reviving one, Purifying one, Soothing one. I think the Radiance one, this is Turmeric and Botanics, and the Reviving one, which is Rose and Botanics. I think these two will be okay from what I can tell on the ingredients. I've got a couple of house updates, not house updates, a couple of interiors updates in the form of a new lamp that we have which came last week, which is this. It's from Made. I absolutely love it. And I did have just a little lamp on a stool, but I knew I wanted a floor lamp. Um, and something kind of statement-ish, but still that could kind of blend in, I suppose. And then I also have a mirror. But do you remember I said about this little table that we ordered? So we now have this round mirror. And it's actually a lot more kind of bronze slash rose gold than I thought. I thought it would be more gold. But I might paint it black. I need to look into this finish and what paint I would need to use to paint it black. Because you will not... Oh, hi. <laughs> um, it's actually very hard to find a mirror that's reasonably, reasonably priced that has a very thin metal rim. They all seem to have quite thick plastic ones and I wanted a very thin one specifically and in black. But trying to find that under £100 is really tough. So I found this on Maisons du Monde and it was £44. And it's the perfect shape, perfect size, and we'll go like we plan to put it up here. Because we've got the black piping on our coat rack here, I feel like if this was black it would complement that a lot more. And also the, well actually they're not black, the legs on that, they're raw iron. But anyway, I just feel like if that was black it would be better, but as I say, trying to get a thin rimmed black round mirror that's not that expensive is very difficult. News just in, um, Claudia just got back to me and all the Urban Vader oils are pregnancy safe. Pregnancy and UV safe, she said. Um, I'm not entirely sure what UV safe means. Oh, I'm probably going out in the sun, but anyway. Um, yes, they are pregnancy safe, so that is excellent. Another very busy day. Ignore everything that's behind me, that's hair stuff and mess. I have just taken part in the Urban Vader Zoom facial. It was so lovely, it's so nice and relaxing. And I used this, which is the Radiance facial oil. Highly recommend, smells incredible. And my skin feels, I mean it might not look it, but it feels just great so yeah i ended up having another busy day just one thing after another and i meant to vlog when ma i was doing hair because it was actually a friend of mine who was doing and we did a really lovely balayage on her which she hadn't had done for ages and it would have made a really nice before and after so um yeah i wanted to show you that but i can't because i didn't film it but i do have pictures on my hair account and i will put the pictures here of the well actually i could just show you okay so here we are that is the before look at that for an after i mean i mean i don't want to toot my own horn but too bloody toot babes um another thing i just wanted to quickly talk about is a non-alcoholic beverage recommendation for you and um, we haven't done one of these for a while have we and that's because i have actually been drinking the same thing which is that sainsbury sparkling wine it's been my non-alcoholic drink of choice recently probably because it's the cheapest so anyway um i've mentioned about seed lip before which is a non-alcoholic gin and i'm in two minds about non-alcoholic gins or like liquors because they're so expensive it's still like 26 quid for a bottle and i just think I don't, I just don't think you should be paying that much for non-alcoholic gin. I understand they want it to compete and stuff, but I feel like 16 quid should be the price. They do have these little pre-mix cans that they've launched. And this was available by itself in my Sainsbury's, but you can buy them in cans of four for £10. This is £2. But anyway, I really wanted to try it. So this is the Spice 94 and Grapefruit Tonic. And I actually did get this at the weekend and I've just bought it again because it is an absolute delight to drink. If you want an alternative to wine and you fancy some kind of gin and tonic situation, um, 
<clears throat> yeah, I can very much highly recommend that. It's delish. I'm not sure when we'll catch up again. I am doing hair tomorrow, Friday. I'm basically doing hair every day now for kind of the next five or so days. So that's fine. It's only one a day, but as I mentioned, it really does take it out of me. I can barely bring myself to tidy up and I finished doing hair like four hours ago. So that's fine. Yes, I will see you at some point very soon. Hello everybody. I've just been watching Louise Pentland. I've been getting into her vlogs from when she first had her baby daughter Pearl for obvious reasons because uh, that's when she was a newborn so I feel like I don't know I quite enjoy watching vlogs from when people first had their babies I'm just in my doing hair attire I have this very old <gasps> here we go this very old dress from Urban Outfitters that I just shove on with like this shirt from H&M over the top and you'll notice I'm wearing a wrist splint so I mentioned about how I have carpal tunnel quite badly from being pregnant and I wasn't really sure if this would do anything. I'll just sit down for a second actually. But yeah, I was conscious that with doing hair, you can get carpal tunnel from being a hairdresser anyway. And when I used to work in salon, I feel like I did get it a little bit. So with now having it from being pregnant and also doing hair, I was just quite worried that I was going to do more damage to it that would then not heal after pregnancy. So I thought, let's just try a wrist splint. So I just ordered this off of Amazon and I'm wearing it now because I've just been doing hair this afternoon. So I sometimes wear it after I've done hair for a little bit. And then I wear it to bed and I wear it overnight. And I feel like, <laughs> it looks like a bionic hand. I feel like it has really helped. It's still very much, very tingly, very numb most of the time. But I do feel like it's relieved it slightly. Um, when I wear it overnight so that's worked out well and then I did want to just have a little chat with you because uh, I haven't chatted to you for a couple of days oh my god my ankles are so swollen from just doing hair and standing up they honestly look like I don't want to show you <laughs> it's so funny right let me charge this battery for a sec and then I'm going to catch up with you I thought I would just show you what bumpy boo is saying can you see my swollen ankles <laughs> we'll get them out of shot but yeah this is my rather odd shaped bump to be honest i feel like i'm carrying high which a lot of people uh say they don't think it's a boy and then it kind of goes flat where my belly button is and then there's not much going on down here but i suppose like that's what they mean when they say the baby drops doesn't it I mean I still feel like there it doesn't look massive but my god it feels it and I can't bend over anymore I had to enlist Hainsley to help me shave my legs the other day so that was um, like a new level to our relationship obviously he was happy to help because he's a little love but yeah this is where we are it feels quite hard at the moment I also actually just want to talk quickly about a very delightful new well it's not new the last few weeks symptom something that's just quite funny about being pregnant that my friend did mention to me and it's a, a thing called lightning crotch and it's something that you can't explain until you get it but it's very common once you start talking about it to other pregnant people but I feel like no one ever talked about this before I was pregnant I had no idea it was a thing also I had some people refer to it as oh speaking of which it just happened <laughs> I've also had some people refer to it as fanny daggers. Like an electric shock shooting pain all of a sudden that no joke kind of takes your breath away. When it happens, I'm on the sofa and I'm like, <gasps> like that's how it makes you feel. But it's, it's like an electric shock right there, like really low <laughs> in the depths of the uterus it's just really weird but it it can happen repeatedly it can happen just you know just catch you off guard in the day and all of a sudden you're like <gasps> um but yeah it happens quite regularly and it's a completely normal thing but it, apparently it's like a nerve thing it's because the baby's head is down like putting pressure on your cervix it then causes a nerve situation um and you then get a fanny dagger so 
that's been quite fun. It, yeah, I thought I would just bring that to your attention. Any fellow pregos that understand what I'm talking about, or if you're not yet pregnant, you will have that to look forward to. So you're welcome. I'm going to show you a couple, um, some more things that I've bought for baby. I just got a couple of things in the post, and I just wanted to talk about this brand specifically. Oh, I didn't show you the other day. I said that Hazy and I went to H&M in last week's vlog just to pick up a few more bits. Um, nothing particularly exciting. I got a, some more of the baby grows, but in 0 to 1. Uh, sorry, I already had 0 to 1 in 1 to 2 months because I have no idea how big this baby's going to be, and I know that it's good to have perhaps an array of sizes of newborn clothing. So they don't look much bigger than the 0 to 1, but these were size 1 to 2. So I got a packet of the short sleeve ones in 1 to 2 months, and then also a packet of the longer sleeve ones in one to two months so we have a couple of sizes of those and then I also did get some leggings because I don't have any like sleep suits or any long sleeved long legged body suits yet um, and they had these leggings and newborn sizing and smaller sizing tends to be sold out most of the time at the moment so I feel like if you see things you need to grab them so because we're in H&M and I, this was the only pair in the size this was in naught to one I just grabbed this, um, again it's like a twin pack, so it's just cream leggings with little feet. So then they can have almost like a onesie, and then this really lovely pinstripe pair, I have this as a bodysuit as well, so yeah, if I wanted to make it look like a onesie then I can do, but just when we're in hospital I'll take those with us, because um, I don't know what the temperature will be like, so I might want to put trousers on them, or I might just put a blanket over them, but we'll have to see. Um, and then I also got some socks and I wasn't sure if I was going to buy socks for the baby this soon but then I was looking on Instagram and the baby brands I follow uh, just had pictures of babies with socks that were too big for them that I thought were really cute so I thought I, I want to get some socks so I bought this packet and they, these are size triple naught I'm not overly sure what the sizing in H&M socks is but one of the smallest sizes and it was a three pack Two ninety nine came with a cream pair, and then you know we love these beige colours. This more kind of oatmeal-y one, and then, uh, or was that more oatmeal and that's more like taupe? Anyway, these beige coloured ones, and I just thought, even if they're too big, like scrunched up on their little chubby legs, will be so cute. I'm starting to get really excited now, and thinking about like actually meeting the baby, like thinking about that moment when it's out. And the first time you hear it cry, it, them, and then they hand them to you and you look at them for the first time. Like, what will they look like? I just, I was going to say overwhelming, but I don't feel overwhelmed. I just feel like I can't wait for that moment to get here. And I feel quite ready now. I mean, I'm not ready, but I do feel a bit like, oh, you can come out if you want. The newest thing I've got is this. Um, and these are more muslins from baby Maury. And they just got, sorry... And they just got delivered yesterday and I'm in I have mixed not mixed feelings about baby Maury I love the stuff I think it's very very expensive and so I ordered these muslins in the sale to also see the quality and I must say the quality of these muslins is amazing so whether I'd say they're worth the price tag I'm don't know because they are expensive but they are very very good quality so Whereas a packet of baby grows from H&M will be like 15 quid for five baby grows, on Baby Maury you'll get four sleep suits for £90 and that's in the sale. It just, it's just very expensive. Anyway, but these muslins are in the sale. They're normal size muslins, not oversized muslins, so you wouldn't really use these to swaddle. These are just typical like blanket muslins. But this one's like a grey... I mean, it says it's grey, but I also do see a little bit of sage green in there. And you know that sage green is one of my one of my chosen colours, one of my sponsored colours for the baby. Um, anyway, and in the corner, it's just got this cute little pattern, which I thought was nice. Just a little, little subtle detail. And then this one, they do this pattern across quite a lot of their clothing. So they've got a top in it, a sleep suit, I think some leggings, maybe a hat. Um, but it's called the forest pattern and it's got like oh it's just upside down it must be little trees that's what those arrow things are 
and then the little baby Maury face um, and that's all over that's just white quite a nice subtle pattern but just something a bit different than just a white muslin but as I say the quality of these is really lovely I think in the sale they were both about £8.80 so I got them both for about £16 I know like muslins you don't need to spend a lot on but it's thinking about things like how much they're going to get washed I hope these will wash well because they do feel so much better so it's things like that to take into account like that's where maybe I don't know you know the jewelry's out isn't it but that's where you could justify spending a bit more money because you think well the amount of times I'll probably be washing all this stuff I do want it to last but anyway so it's Saturday night I am just waiting for Hazy to come home because he's been out today whilst I was doing hair he went to go and meet some oh it's gone very dark meet friends sorry i've still got louise on i just went out the room and left the telly on so he's on his way home we're gonna have dinner together and then just have a chilled one to be honest um every every day is a chilled one i made my first i'm a grown-up having a baby purchase today you know buying baby clothes and stuff is all well and good but i feel like it's still it is grown up obviously because you're having a baby but this purchase we made today has really made me feel like, oh my God, it, this is getting real now. And we, I wanted to mention it because there is a, um, it's quite heavily discounted at the moment. So if you are also a pregnant person or someone who is, who has a baby that needs more of this stuff, then it's worth looking at. But I ordered a bundle from Tommy Tippy of bottles, a steriliser, a breast pump, and everything basically it's called the express bundle so it's all the stuff you need to be able to breastfeed and express and just quickly a note on 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 breastfeeding i'm not opening up a conversation about the best ways to feed your baby just to briefly touch on it i am going to give breastfeeding a go and we'll just see how we get on but i had started to think i need to get bottles and sterilizers and things like that just for moving forward and that kind of stuff i just feel like is really like oh my god it makes it feel so much more real because you wouldn't buy that stuff otherwise not that you buy baby clothes but <laughs> do you know what i mean i feel like even when you're not pregnant you're more inclined to enjoy looking at baby clothes and maybe you've got friends that you buy them for but things like sterilizers and bottles that's like specific to you having the baby and it just made it really really real and i feel like oh my god it's happening because we're only five weeks away now so it's that kind of stuff that we need to start making sure i've made a list of like the last few big things that we definitely need to have in time for when the baby's here i just wanted to tell you about it because they it was discounted anyway and then the website also has an extra 20 percent off um, breastfeeding things because they're having what they they've called a breastival <laughs> focus so that's the bundle so it's got a steriliser it's got two different size bottles it's got a breast pump nipple shields like a, a, a milk warmer thing i think and then like travel bags to put your milk in the reason in particular why i wanted this bundle is because it comes with an electric breast pump and breast pumps themselves can be so expensive this pump the tommy tippy pump by itself is on john lewis for 135 pounds alone i got this bundle um, so it's it was originally 185 it's then been reduced to 176 and then with the 20% on top I got the whole thing for 140 so considering that the breast pump alone is 135 I think that's a bit of a bargain so yeah anyone who's pregnant I highly recommend the Tommy Tippy site at the moment if you need that kind of stuff because they have got really good discounts on there because I think even the breast pump by itself on the Tommy Tippy site is discounted and I got free delivery. Obviously every little helps when you're expecting because there is so much that you need and it does really mount up. So yeah, that's one of the bigger things off the list. And then we've still got, there's a car, the, I wanna get the car seat. I think I'm gonna go for a Cybex one. And then I need to sort out stuff for my hospital bag. I was also watching a video that Louise Penton did about her postpartum recovery, which was really helpful because she had loads of stuff in there that really helped afterwards. And um, again, you never know what your recovery is going to be because you don't know what your birth is going to be. Well, generally you don't. Um, some people do. But, and that will be the next thing to think about the babies, but what I need for the baby in hospital and what I need for me in hospital, making sure that we've got everything 
for recovery because um, of course if I'm in a lot of discomfort I want to make sure that everything's here ready <laughs> so yeah that's that come around so quick in it Okay, got a little Saturday night takeaway. Vegetable biryani. There's Daddy there. <laughs> I'll probably bid you adieu for this vlog. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and all of that jazz. And I will see you on the next one. Mwah. So you are the next one as well. <laughs>